All right, welcome back everyone to my channel. Thanks for being here, I appreciate it. I am working on a bounce back pour this week, having missed last week altogether for any posts. So I apologize, but I had things going on, couldn't quite make the timeline in time. So here we are. I am working on a 16 by 20 uh, pearlescent pour by Amsterdam, inspired by Molly with Molly's artistry. She is fantastic go check her out in a second and this week's theme was for the pearls to go vertical and simply vertical i decided to use four colors pearl violet pearl red pearl blue and pearl white and see if we can't make some magic okay now at the beginning i actually made these lines a little bit thinner than i thought i would initially because i wasn't quite sure how far the oxide black would spread side to side or uh, the width of the canvas so i wanted to go very thin initially because again i wasn't quite sure how much spacing as well i may need with all four colors not wanting to really overlap or pour on top of each other so i wanted to pour side to side nothing on top because i felt like this color pattern was not meant to be a layered color if that makes sense so no layering was the intent more to side to side and going for a simplistic and very consistent pattern. Okay, and for those of you who are new to Amsterdam pearlescent paints, these are an iridescent paint that is a really cool thing to try if you haven't, so I would recommend highly to give them a shot at least a few times as an experiment. Now they, they actually mix white. So I have pearl blue, white, violet, and red. Now, as I'm layering these colors on a black base, typically black or a darker blue, like a Payne's gray, for example, um, these colors will begin to just pop and shine like normal colors do. But they tend to pop the most when it's dry. So. I am more concerned right now than the fact that I can't tell what colors are what as I'm layering, layering, sorry, wanting a consistent pattern to spill over as my design. So, um, no, if you have a chance to give these pearls a go by Amsterdam or by Golden, or there's a ton out there, you can take a look on Amazon or through Michaels, for example. But um, anyway, that is the scoop on Pearl Essence. Okay, and back to my questions of the week. I'm a bit rusty having having missed a week last week. Um, what are your favorite iridescent paints? Again, these are Amsterdam and they're really pretty, but I'm curious brand to brand if you have a preference or something else you tried that is a great comparison to the Amsterdam. Again, I know there's a golden version. I've only had myself the Amsterdam, but would be willing to give the goldens a try. And um, no, again, if you have any preferences, I'd be curious to know in the comments below and we can chat about it. Okay, and getting into one of my favorite parts of this type of pour is the wrecking of the lines. Now, in this case, I wanted to keep a very tight pattern because I was going for a specific look with lots of pop and lots of color, although the black does tend to break up your colors a little bit in the end, but as tight lines as I could make out in this side to side motion was my goal. And after looking at it, I thought it was a fairly cool pattern, but I wanted to also try a horizontal pattern on top of that. So we'll see how this shakes out in the end. Now, of course, when I say horizontal, I do actually mean diagonal. So there's that. Um, again, see all the rust from last week. I can't take weeks off because clearly I have to maintain a certain level of professionalism for my videos. So um, again, horizontal. Nope. Diagonal. Anyway, let's go one more round of the diagonal and we'll see how this pattern looks in the very end. Okay, getting back to the wreck on this pour, I'm really hoping looking down on this video 
that it has cured before I have two shows upcoming, one early May the 4th and the 5th and June the 15th, which would be plenty of time to cure by then. But this one is so nice. I want it done and possibly resined or at least varnished prior to the show in May. Um, it may look like nothing now, but I promise you in the end, this is one of the most pretty pieces I've ever made. Okay, and going in for my first corner of this tilt. Now, fun fact about me, for those of you who are new, I am always short on paint. This week, I had plenty of paint, so no worries there. Um, this was really meant to be a very quick painting and really was four corners and that was kind of it. So um, again, I was really kind of right on the ball with my paint uh, pouring or my, my paint mixing, sorry, this week and my volume I needed to cover the entire canvas without really over stretching it. These pearls can be a bit finicky with too much stretching and pinholes developing because of either air bubbles or just too much, you know, stretch, right? So it gets a bit distorted. Um, going in for my third corner here, and you can see the color begin popping through on top of that black oxide base, which is quite pretty. And we will get this last corner, I guess last bit centered for my last corner and get in for a bit of an overhead dry look. Okay, and I'll touch on this pattern real briefly. As I see this video, I'm really pumped about how this turned out. Um, and also very happy I stuck with the really close and narrow lanes, we'll call them, of my wrecking of the color. It's making a really awesome pattern. And as I begin to tilt this back to the center, it's going to kind of maintain those dedicated lanes of color. So the white and the violet, the red and the blue, all in order every time so that's what i was going for was a very simplistic pattern nothing difficult easy peasy right so ultimately i'm really happy with this pour and we can check out the overhead dry look all right and going in for a bit of a overhead look here now i am really quite excited with the pop in this color it is really bright i couldn't be more happy. Um, the pearls by Amsterdam are really fun to work with. I would highly recommend if you can try them out and give them a whirl. Uh, also, if you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button below and consider subscribing to the channel. And we will, of course, see you again in the next one.